And over to Jordan Goldmeyer. Excel oh, tips. Oh wow, that was great. That was great. Okay, let me share my screen. Let me let me uh, share it real quick. Um, so I'm only using one screen this time. I'm gonna hit on protect sheet here. Uh, so um, uh, a lot of folks will try to uh, protect their worksheet, and they'll find that well, if to use a macro, um, it it requires that you unprotect the worksheet, um, and that's actually the conventional wisdom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to protect the worksheet. I have this uh, allow macros here, but we're actually not going to allow them. You'll see why in a second. I have me.protect. I'm within the sheet object. I'm going to say protect this sheet. I'm going to say user interface only equals false. Now, most of the times you don't really see this user face um, uh, only. It's defaulted to false, but it's actually important because it's going to be the property that we're going to change that's going to allow us to use macros even when the sheet is protected. But I'm going to keep it off for here and just be explicit just for the purpose of demonstration so I, can, so I can show you. So I hit press me. You see I get this 400 error. That's because it's not allowing me to change this anymore because we protected the worksheet. So a lot of people don't really know that when you protect the worksheet within the code, there is this um, part of uh, the protection. And I'm just going to hit space here just so it shows up. You see there's this user interface only. Now if I set this to true, this actually solves the problem. This is one of the coolest things that I learned um, because for so many years I didn't know that you could do this. So I'm going to run this again. We're still protecting the worksheet, but now when I hit press me, you can see that it actually works. So this is very cool. You still can protect the sheet and run your macros. It's like having your cake and eating it too. So, so let me you just never have back. to re-protect. So you just you just say user interface only, and then you don't have to do protect at the end of the code. Is That's, what you're right. That's right. That is right. You don't have to protect and unprotect, which is by far one of the most annoying things 